Welcome back, the penultimate day of the World Swimming Championships here in Doha, Qatar. And we didn't even talk about the relays yesterday because the relays have sucked here. But the <laughs> men's 4x200 freestyle relay last night was the closest relay of a 7 minutes 50 distance, of it, or 8 minutes distance I've ever seen. It was insane, down to the wire. And the top three teams were separated by 0.25 of a second. There's some really good swims mixed in there too. Some 143s, three, of, three of those. Three, yeah. Wow. Um, you know, Hunter Armstrong going 145. He, he texted me and said he'd never gone under 153 before. <laughs> he just popped a 145 for the Americans. He's good. Um, had a 16 year old Chinese lad go 145. 145. To, to win it, hold off Sun Wu. Sun wow. Wu was coming back at that lad, like, he, he, he split 1437. Sun Wu Huang, the world champion, 1437. But the, the young Chinese lad held him off with a 145.5, just 16 years old. Yeah. And um, obviously Pan split a 143.9. Carson Foster was also 143.9. Yeah, great swim for Carson. Talk to me about Carson Foster. He's, he's just all over the place sometimes, isn't he? Sometimes you think he's, he's the man on the world stage and other times he just, he fades in races. I, I don't get it because you see him close races, he can do it. He's he was it. leading for 150 metres of the 2IM. He's a 4IM swimmer who just spit 143 and a 2-3, two, two, and he couldn't hold off Finley Knox. Yeah, I don't, I don't fully get it. The, some of the times I just scratch my head with him. Um, he's a phenomenal athlete, great kid too. I mean, such a good person. But you just see these mixed swims where he, 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 maybe he's just got all the confidence in the world or he turns his brain off, and then other times he just doesn't swim like he's... Uh, wanting to win, kill, yeah, kill. wanting yeah. to win, yeah. I don't know. Okay, sure. well, talking about killers, we've got the men's hundred butterfly tonight. We've got my boy Chad Leclo going up in that, mm. and um, that's, that's a close the, race too. It's a close race, and it's going to take a killer to win it. Yeah. Um, the top seed is a killer, Diogo Ribeiro. Portugal won Portugal's first gold medal, winning the fifty fly in a stacked field. So we know he's a killer. PB in the semi-final, national record fifty-one three zero. But Chad is also a killer. That's how Chad beat Michael Phelps. Chad beat the ultimate killer. So can Chad win this? Chad had a good swim last night, won the first semi-final, yep. came out strong, faded a little at the end, it was tightening up a little, which worries me somewhat. He went 51.7. He's going to need to drop another half a second off that. I didn't see a half a second in him last night. But listen, again, Chad's a racer. Chad loves to play. He's a born racer. He's a, he's a born racer, actually. <laughs> and uh, he's a winner. He's won multiple occasions, won uh, many world titles in many his titles. lifetime. So, look, if, if anyone's able to do it, it it'll be Chad. But I, I think one of these youngsters are going to come through and get their hand on the wall, yeah. to be, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, I, 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 I'm going to have to back Chad. But um, I think he's going to be in a title with Diogo. And also the Spanish lad, yeah. Mario. Mario's been great. I, I spoke to Mario a few days ago. He watched my videos from Mizuno suits, um, loves the Mizuno 6 MV. But he said to me, I, I was nervous before the 50 fly final, and I'm glad because right. I don't want to be that nervous. For the 100 fly final, I want to know when I'm doing it, be right. in control. Right. And he said, I'm only at 50 point. And I said, what's your PB? And he said, 52-0. And I kind of thought, oh. wow, this boy is ambitious. Well, he went 51-9 for the first time in right. the heat, 51-4 right. in the semi-final. Right. So if he keeps dropping these half a second, well, that's how you go 50 point. Yeah. So I think he's going to be good. Yeah. No, look, I think... I think um bunch of guys could win this one. It's, it's up for grabs. So be a great race, um, edge of your seat type stuff, and um, we'll see who walks out. Check the body language and see how it applies to the water. Um, second prediction, women's 200 back, Claire Curzon's going to win. You agree? Yeah. Uh, 200 back? Yeah. Anyone else in it? No. no. Yeah, Claire okay. Curzon. Quick prediction. Um, then on to the other two finals of the night, the men's and 53 and the women's 50 fly. Now, yesterday we talked extensively about them races, and we're not going to do the same thing today, but... We was excited, and they both disappointed last night. Actually, I'm just thinking right now. Go back to the 200 backstroke for a second. Okay, well, yeah. There well, is one other person in it. Who? Check it out. Where's the, fi where's the final sheet? Yeah, there was Claire Cruz in it. There was another girl that's actually swam really well last night. Oh, I watched her. I've got no Wi-Fi. I don't think Claire's the fastest qualifier. Yeah, she went 206. Claire did? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. There was one other person, was there not? I don't know, I've got no Wi-Fi. Wow. Okay. Hey, we'll move on then. <laughs> what were we up to? Men's 53, women's 53. If I'm wrong, let us know in the comments. I'm wrong regularly. I thought there was one other girl last night. I could have quite, sworn. There's actually seven other girls in the final. But I'm saying who's, who can contend to win. I thought, I thought another girl threw down pretty good. 
I could be wrong, but that's it. But let's move on to the um, 50 Fly for Women is first event tonight. Yep. So yep. we might as well go straight into that. It's Sarah Sostrom and Daylight. Um, is it another uh, championship record? Is it another 20, under, under 25 swim? Is it a possible world record? Where are we at with this? So just so you know, world record is 24.4. Championship record is 24.6. Heat was 24.8. Semi-final was 25.0. Right. I know it's going to be somewhere between, I think it's somewhere between the heat and the championship record, 4.6 to 4.8. It's going to be in that range. Yeah, okay. So, so you're saying she's going to be back under 25 again? Oh, for sure. Last night she, she looked like she forced it slightly. Yeah, she had a long glide to finish. Long glide to finish. Um, so she's got a little more in her. Yeah, I think it's going to be, yeah, okay. She'll, she'll win it by probably a body length, right? Yeah, she's crushing everyone. Why is she so dominant? You know the inside with, with Sarah. You know, give us a little insight into why she's, why she's so dominant. She, I, I think women are very versatile, but their strokes don't seem to be as specific to the events as on the men's side. So on the woman's side, you see girls swimming this, this 50 butterfly who are kind of like, they swim the 100 fly stroke, they may be breathing every other, or they have a lot of undulation. Sarah is like that, that typical sprint, Power. get in, rip, Power. get in, rip. So you don't have that, Michael Phelps chest press extension out into the, she her hands enter the elbows pop she gets on the catch I bet you she's the only person who doesn't breathe the whole 50 fly in the race she's a sprinter she hasn't got the best underwater she hasn't got the best first 15 but she is the best she's the fastest on the surface by a country mile country mile she is a power athlete isn't she now from all accounts she doesn't necessarily do um, just specific sprint work does she she, she likes to do aerobics. a lot of work she really likes to do the contrast stuff so like yeah. light aerobics something fast right like, so she might do like 425s all out followed by six 100s yeah right and like three rounds of that four rounds of that right. so she likes to i don't know like i, I think it's so i think ultimately in my opinion it doesn't really matter if you're doing 425s and just resting for 20 minutes or 425s and swimming for 20 minutes i mean as a guy, I would definitely say just rest for 20 minutes. Don't just swim up and down because the aerobic stuff, I think, takes away from that, that, that anaerobic power. But um, it works for her. Works for her. Yeah. Well, she's here for the 50s. And then she's, uh, she's got a 53 as well tonight. So, yeah, she, 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 she was 23.91 this morning. She's a yeah. semi of that uh, after the 50 fly final. After the 50 so, fly, um, yeah. so, yeah, yeah. stacked, stacked uh, a couple of days for her. Yeah. And then we go straight into the race that kind of we're all on the edge of our seats for, the Ken McAvoy 53. Uh, he's actually got some competition now. Yeah. It's funny because in the morning he was half second clear of everyone. Yeah. And now he's only 0.1 ahead of the Ukrainian Vladislav Bukov, mm. who was apparently doing a very similar training style, 300 meters a session. Um, as Ken McAvoy, and people, people were calling us out in the comments yesterday. I didn't tell you already, but um, they're saying, what, a thousand meters like main set every day and, or whatever. And it's like, no, no, you said a thousand meters a week. That's a week. That's everything, volume a week of swimming, not gym and all the other stuff he's doing, because he's doing a lot of that. But pure volume of the swim, he's doing about 40, 25 meter lengths a week, yeah. 1K. Yeah. Maybe a little more change, whatever, maybe a little less, but. Yeah, could be, could be 900, could be 1200, yep. but it's in that range where he's not doing tons uh, yeah it's, it's just pure speed volume speed from, volume from what i've heard not from him but from what i've heard from another ukrainian swimmer that's what bukov's doing bukov's as well doing, yeah. so he's he's gone on to that sort of program he's and on realized. the sprint revolution okay yeah yeah good yeah bukov um looked great last night. look he doesn't have a great terrible first 25 start. terrible start he doesn't have a great first 25 terrible at all. underwater terrible start off the block slow 0. 0.70 so he was 0.15 Five slower than Cam and mm. 0.13 slower off the blocks than Cam. Wow. So actually, from the moment their hands hit the water, there's only 0 0.02 difference in the semi final performances. So Cam knows he's going to be tracking him down, which is interesting. Bukov knows Cam's going to be ahead of him at the 35, right? And Cam knows that Bukov is behind him, and they're going to have these different mindsets of like, I've got to hold, and he's got a mindset, I've got to catch. So then it's like, does he shift too high to try and catch? Does he change something because he's panicking? Does he get short? So there's, there's going to be a little cat and mouse being played around the 35 meter mark. Do you think so. the draft plays any factors here? Uh, I don't think so, unless one of them gets right over on the lane line, uh, which was highly Doesn't unlikely. Really in the 59? Yeah, I mean, you're better off going straight. You know, as soon as you dive in, you don't want to move over because then you're swimming. 51 meters rather yeah. than 50, you know, so 
I wouldn't think the draft There's has no draft involved. to do with it, no. Okay, okay. But listen, um, back to it. I don't think Cam is going to swim as slow as he did last night. No. And, and when we say slow, he went... Uh, 21-2. I mean, come on, it's ridiculous, and it's it's for, to even consider that he had a bad swim off a of twenty-one-two. But he definitely got short at the end and um, was scrambling a little bit. It looked like he was swimming to the wall. And I always say to my athletes, swim through the wall, don't swim to the wall. When you swim to the wall, you shorten up, and you and you you're looking for the wall, right? When you swim through it, you stay in your rhythm, you stay in your length, and you and you just keep going, and the wall comes, and you and you stretch and touch, but. Uh, it would look like there was a little panic last night at the end of that race, and he got short. Um, so yeah, I think that's uh, that's those those two look like they're ahead of the field. Yeah, it'll I think be ben a fight be, for the third. Ben will be better. Nah, ben will, Ben's Ben's going to bring some more t tonight. I think Ben's going to be tossed in with Vladislav for second, and and Cam's going to win. World record, just quickly. We were certain yeah. yesterday. I'm saying now, no world record. I'm saying, but yeah. he's still in that 21-0, 21-1 range. He's just too far off it. Yeah, it's just it's like look, two tenths in a fifty like that. We're talking three quarters of body length. You know, like it's a long way. So, um, I think if Cam gets it perfect tonight, he'll be twenty-one flat. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, well, that's the finals. Last night, though, we had some other finals. Um, Anything really stand out to you last night watching the, the final session? Um, I really only went there for the semis of the 50s. Um, you know, the... Nah, I don't, I don't, nothing, nothing off. Oh, the women's under free, was it? Women's 100 free, Marit beat Shravon. Marit, that was a good swim, yeah. Marit, let's give her some props. That was yeah. a really good swim. Not a lot of people expecting her to come in and get the win in the 100 free here. No. Uh, she dropped in a huge amount of time. She was even surprised herself, uh, so that's good. But she just said she went for it, you know, yeah. and I like that. And, and her strength, she said, it was her second 50, and she, she stayed within range of Siobhan and then, and then just swam past her. I mean, you, yes. don't, you don't see a lot of people swim past Siobhan. I've, uh, other than Molly O'Callaghan, I've never yeah. seen it. It was great swim by Marriott, and a yeah. really strong second half, and still very good. Like, I mean, he splits 25-3, 26-9, that's yeah. a... Very well put together swim. Um, Shane and Jack coming in for the bronze. I don't think Dean's group here, and when I say group, I think he's got nine athletes here. I don't think they're fully rested, especially the women. So, you know, Shane and Jack getting that bronze 52-8, I think that's a good swim. I was talking to Tom the other day just about some of the times here, and some of the times are like just damn right good. Some you'd be happy with at any normal championship meet. And when you think about that and then you put it into perspective for this February, I think people should be really happy with the times they're going. Like if you said like if you told Dean that he went to like the Queensland Championships and Shana went fifty two eight, he'd be like, Hell yeah. So I think people are being maybe hypercritical because it's the world championship. Sometimes five months out of the Olympics, four months out of the Olympics are really good. Um, there's three more finals last night. There was the two hundreds. There was the two hundred breast men's and women's. 200 breast men. 200 breast was a good swim for men's. Yeah, Dom. Oh, and the women. Actually. And the women both were great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, one of them, the Netherlands girl won. Tess Shooting dominated start yeah. and finish. The heavy favourite, Kate Douglas. This meet was at Kate Douglas's meet. Yeah. Everyone was saying Kate Douglas is going to get 23 gold medals, and she got a fourth last night and a silver. She got fourth in the 100 freestyle, silver in the, the 200 breaststroke, and Tess Shooting did not even give her a, a, a moment of thought that she no, might win that no. race. She went for it, didn't she? Start yep. to finish and looked really good the whole way. As opposed to the men's 200 where... Casper Corbeau from Netherlands went right, for it right. and... Got swum over the top. By Dong. Dong. That was a great swim. I mean, his last 15, I mean, he was rating up like it was a 50 breast. What did he come home in? 32? 32-1. And we just talked to his coach, literally, wow. like, behind the camera, we talked to his coach. And oh, right. he said... Pierre. Pierre. Yeah. And he said his best ever last 50 was 31-3 last year. Best 50? Best ever last 50. Oh, last 50. With 200 rest was 31-3. 31-3's coming back in that fast. Yeah, he's, he just likes to play around. Yeah, I guess so. Wow. Well, look, it wasn't a championship winning time necessarily right like world championship you know, seven time. nine's good but yeah i mean the last one was world at one in 205 yeah so. that's what i mean it's like come on like, like we've moved on from 207 nine we're yeah. in the 205 206 range yeah, yeah, yeah. now so but in saying that hey take them when you can get them mm. um he's not going to be able to get away with that in paris and and, and win it so he's going to have to change his strategy somewhat no he won't win a medal in paris for that not not with that no no that's so, the bottom line yeah um 
Um, Rince Plunge um, back, last race. History making swim for the oh, Spain. Oh, Hugo Gonzalez, of course. Yeah, I, Hugo. We did watch all these races. We're just. I normally have the races on my phone so we can sort of like check the results. But and listen, to be fair to us, we got up early this morning. We went camel riding. Oh, we went, um, you know. I'm gonna make a full vlog. We went to the desert driving. with uh, world record holder Ilya Shamanovich, yep. Indian hero Licky, Licky, yeah, and uh, Hong Kong record holder Adam Chillingworth. Yeah. We went and rode some camels. We had a race in the inland sea. We did have a race in the sea, and we'll see a little vlog on that, see who won that one. But um, we're a little tired now, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. So sorry if the energy is a little low. And also, we're we're looking for places to do this, and we have we found. We found we're in this. like a bit of a lobby of the hotel here. Yeah, it was really noisy. We're going to do it outside. It was a lot super of noise. noisy. Yeah. So we're we're dealing with all those issues. This is my last night. I'm not going to be here tomorrow. I'm going home. I'm going to have um, to do a solo tomorrow. Solo, yeah. So. It's been good, mate. Um, happy I came out here. I love the experience. Learn a lot. Highs and lows throughout the week. But, um, we're we're, we're going to make some more stuff about some of the stuff this week, but we've, we've, we really want to make content for swim meets and basically just be another way to get out the results. I mean, between us two, I reckon we've had 500 or more messages asking us how to watch this swimming championship. Right. People don't know how to find the results. No. They don't know how to watch the races. No. And outside of people posting things on Twitter and social media, and maybe like, and, and people don't know what to do. And we want it to be as, we want the, there to be no barriers between being able to find results, watch the swimming. And that's what we're trying to do. That's why we're bringing these recaps. And we want people to have some sort of involvement. You know, it's fun. Who's going to win? Talking about who's going to win. I remember growing up, I just wanted to talk to someone about the results of World Champs and having no one. So we're trying to, Join a barrier, but we want to work with these, these these organizations so we can do it the right way, and we're still working that out. Yeah, we're getting there. We'll figure it out. But if not, we'll keep doing what we're doing here, and um, nobody can stop this. I tell you that. So we're going to keep bringing this stuff. When's the next time we're going to be together making content? Oh, mate, it looks like U.S. trials. Yeah, U.S. trials. So we've got tickets. We've got an Airbnb booked. Yeah, we're going to be living together. We're going to be we're going to be sitting together. We've got uh, 50 yard. You know, right at the halfway mark, front row, we'll be on the deck, we'll be loving life, we'll be doing these vlogs every day that we need to do, and then... Um, um, we're with Nate, right? Nate's going to be Nate's there. Nate's going to be Nate's there. Nate's swim nerd, so I'm super excited to meet Nate. I've never met Nate. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be great, hey? Awesome. Hey, appreciate you. Thanks for tuning in. We'll keep bringing it, mate. Good job. Cheers, Brett. It's yeah, been mate. good. See you tomorrow, guys. Without Brett. He's on a 16-hour flight home. 16 hours, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. Cheers. Subscribe, like, ugh.